That's the, the scarier part. You know, when some people become impressed, I, I, I remind myself of this, I remind you of all of, all, all of you of this. When some people become impressed with their own good deeds, when then they are following the footsteps of shaitan. And it doesn't matter if those are prayers, and it doesn't matter if that's hajj, and it doesn't matter if it's anything else. If you yourself are impressed with the good that you have done, you're impressed with how patient you are, you're impressed with how kind you are, you're impressed with how much you pray, you are impressed with how much you recite. When you become impressed with yourself, the door of istighfar is closed. Even if you say astaghfirullah, you don't mean it. Because you think it's perfect, you're perfect already. So those are just words, they don't mean anything. The istighfar means nothing if it's not coming from the heart. If you don't acknowledge, and I don't acknowledge that we are flawed, that what we do is not good enough. You know, one time Ali radiallahu anhu was passing by someone who was saying, Astaghfirullah, 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 Astaghfirullah. And he said, your istighfar needs istighfar. <laughs> you know? So the last thing I share with you about istighfar, not only does it cover our flaws, not only does it teach us humility and it teaches us, you know, profoundly it teaches us that we aren't perfect and we will always be making mistakes and we have to admit our mistakes to Allah. And when you become defensive, there's no way you'll ask Allah's forgiveness. Yes, it's hard to admit our mistakes in front of people. But if you become, if you get in the habit of defending yourself every time, it will be hard for you and hard for me to admit ourselves before Allah. It'll be hard for us to say, Ya Allah, I messed up, I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have done this. I shouldn't, I shouldn't do this. I shouldn't do this. And I'm seeking genuinely your forgiveness. So being able to admit your mistake is actually a step towards istighfar. Shaitan doesn't even want us to admit it. If somebody has to admit their mistake, it's very embarrassing. It's one of the most difficult, uncomfortable situations a person can be in when they have to admit their mistake. And Allah Azza wa Jal on the tongue of Nuh salam told us, when you seek forgiveness of Allah, you are hoping for Allah not to humiliate you, but to what? To honor you. That actually our honor lies in admitting our faults before Allah and asking, begging Allah to cover them. That's actually our honor. When we admit ourselves to any other human being, it will be humiliation. When we humiliate ourselves before Allah, that is the only honor a human being will ever have in this life. مَا لَكُمْ لَا تَرْجُونَ لِلَّهِ وَقَالَ This is the power of just the words, Astaghfirullah. When we say these words, we are transforming our lives. We're opening the doors to this. We're dignifying ourselves. We are reminding ourselves of the journey of Adam salam and the journey we will all be taking as we walk into the gates of Jannah. May Allah Azza wa Jal make all of us people of real istighfar from our hearts. We cannot become confident. You know some people, you know the Prophet ﷺ said that for one letter of reciting Qur'an you get 10 good deeds. You get 10 good deeds. And there's sometimes there are different, different adhkar that are mentioned or different deeds that are mentioned like Salah and Jama'ah counts 27 times more. Right? So there are multiplications. I met some people that like to do these calculations today. 50,000 times this. And I prayed in, I prayed, you know, I, caught, I think I caught Laylatul Qadr. So that's like 83 you know, years, al fashahar So that's 83 years, and I've got this calc- I'm doing pretty good. Doesn't matter how many calculations you do, it's still going to have be not good enough. And the only thing that will cover it is istighfar.